Okay. Uh, anyway, to answer your question, yes, uh, there is a way to do it. The main problem with the uh, with that specific build is you have to have madcap stun effectively. You have to daze them really hard, so they can't do anything. I I haven't seen it done ever, nor have I seen the correct things go by that I need that I would need to make it work. Hi! Okay, this is different. This is not what I was meaning to go for, but adaptive mutation is enough. Yeah, like, there is Boon of the Blacksmith. Your pyre gains plus 15 damage. <sighs> Do I wanna... I got three with consume. That would be good healing. Otherwise, we could just go for the pure raw damage. Heal 15 per round. I'm going to go for the heal 15. It's probably a bad idea, but we'll see. Okay, we're just going to go for the revenge draw one. Have you played Slay the Spire before? Oh, I have played a lot of Slay the Spire. Not as much recently, just because I, I have 200 episodes of it up on YouTube. And it's... I can only do so much of a game before I just kind of lose my will to play more of it. That's just how I work. Let's see. Let's get rid of those guys. But yeah, I... I don't know. I, I love the game... But yeah, 200 hours was enough for me. Okay, we're not going to be able to get rid of more. Do I want to swap him around so he does slightly more damage? Only problem is I am actually going to have to focus on healing these guys, because I don't actually have a lot of good healing. Okay, he'll get by. Need to heal him. Heal him up. We've got the Rage Serum. I'll just keep applying it to my lead guy so we have two characters that can attack. Okay, so we don't really have the cycle that I'm looking for here. I got a fair bit of energy. Uh, let's not do that, though. That, that would actually be foolish. Hit him. Go for the full heal. We do not do any damage to this guy. Ah. And this is... Maybe... I don't know. Either of those core upgrades actually would have been pretty good. Uh, let's go for the Pyre Shards. It's a consume... And I get rid of it quick. Do I want to go for the important work? I don't have any imps. I'm going to err on the side of I get an imp at some point, or I just purge it. But if I can get an imp, we're in a better spot. Maybe. Speaking of, do we go for DP? Yeah. Let's go for the Merchant of Magic. I need the, I need the money. We can remove consume from adaptive mutation. It's it's gotta be. Respect maybe I should have made that holdover. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah, or if I get the imp relic. Then everything is golden. I have an unlimited energy. Uh some rage gen would be good. Ooh. Ooh, that could be spooky. Given this situation, this would make me lose energy per round. But you don't gain any per turn. This actually makes it so I lose energy. Which is bad. Luckily, looking at the two enemies that are coming by, we're not going to take any damage. So I'm going to I'm going to do it. We're going to be low on energy. I'll try and make it work. What I'm probably going to do is 
sting him. Yeah, don't have too much else. We have the adaptive mutation, but we don't actually want to use it on our starter. Poor him. Yeah, all of the DPS is just going to die. So I can kind of sit easy here. Okay, so we're going to rage this guy up, spike up our lead, and drop the remaining two stewards down here. That thins the deck out. Makes him better. I'm going to use some of my energy, probably heal my top up. Dang it. Okay, so they managed to do 22 damage to him. Okay, so that makes him stronger. And we're all good. Okay, so the, the conductor is sufficient. Which is kind of nice, actually. And we get better spikes. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the Wildwood Sap. And there's our Pyre Chomper. Okay, so we want to... We I don't even care. Let's get rid of a Torch. I don't actually have any good healing right now. Except for stat swapping. So ideally, there was another Imp that I would rather get than that. But I'll take what I can get. So the question is... I've got an Imp. We could use a unit. To do damage. So we probably want to go this way. Merchant of Magic. See what I can grab. I can re remove consume. Yes. We're just going to remove consume from one of the rage potions. Go for the Branded Warrior, which seems like a terrible idea. Alright, let's get the money. We are poor. So we want to vid visit a unit editor. I want to make him... I want to make him strong. If I can manage it. Having Rage Gen with Adaptive Consumption... Uh, or Adaptive... Is it Adaptive Consumption? Gosh, I'm actually terrible at remembering the names on any of these things. Okay, Adaptive Mutation. Consumption is a separate dealio entirely. Okay. Question is, do we... I guess... It doesn't matter to... Oh, shoot. They have Damage Shield, don't they? That's fine. Which means we actually want to be here. Okay. So the reason why I specifically want to put them there is this way all of the, the trash tier mobs are going to get to the second floor, and we're going to be able to farm them for rage. We do not want to use my spikes yet, though. That would be bad. Okay, so we got a bit, bit of rage. It's not much. Getting him multi-strike would make uh, differences. Okay, so let's pop here. Get that. Uh, let's do... Keep stacking rage on him. We're gonna take some damage I would like to avoid. A little bit of regen. Drop the steward. And we want to sting this guy. Make him take a bit of damage. I want to use the imp for the extra energy from important work, but I don't want to squander it here. Okay, so what are we looking at? We're looking at okay things. So pop more Rage Serum on him. Swap his stats around. Make him chonky. This is good. I'm gonna wait. We're gonna keep healing. I will use the, uh... I will use the Pyre Shards. There we go. Just a smidge of Rage. Not quite as much Rage Gen as I'd like.
but that's okay. All right, perfect. Am I seriously not going to be able to? All right. Uh, let's see. Adaptive mutation to him again. We're just gonna do the pyre shards. Keep healing up. Sting the boss. And wait. I guess we didn't actually end up needing the uh, the important work anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Oh no, there it is. A little bit late, honestly. So I think I'm just gonna ignore it. Okay, we're good. So we got we've got rage gen. It's a little slower than I'd like, but it's it's a natural rage gen on top of the endlessly stacking the rage serum, which is good. If I could get hold over on that, we'd be in a very happy spot. Well, let's see, so we don't need extra energy per turn, so I'm gonna go for draw. The more I can get per round, the better. Go for impressive? No. Wildwood? Maybe. We're not taking too much damage. But it would let me get rid of all of my restores. And keep all of my guys topped off. Not Bramble Lash. We don't actually, we're not stacking spikes here. The main question is, do I want Unleash the Wildwood? Instead of... Just boosting one restore and just keeping that in the cycle. Because the main problem is currently I'm trying to get my deck to be smaller. And it would be a lot easier to just boost the one heal. Because, yeah, at most, Bramble Ash would do, what, 20, 25 damage? Maybe if I sp stacked some more spikes, like if I got rid of Consume on Pyre Shards as well. I can't believe I've gotten rid of Consume on two. Oh, hey! Super conveniently! Oh. He's going to devour our spells. Huh. That actually, that works kind of well. We need to draw, though. I'm gonna skip. Well, there's the Awoken Hollow if I wanna just get another bruiser. And the Alpha Fiend, who's also good, but I'm gonna skip. So, main reason why I kind of skip out on a lot of these things is I'm trying to go for a very small deck if I can possibly manage it, which tends to be a little difficult. Okay, so, question. Do we go Unit Editor, Purge, or go for Magic? Hmm. If I go for the Unit Editor, we potentially get infinite, um, infinite Imp, or we beast, beast up our Branded Warrior. I guess let's look ahead a little bit. So we've got... Magic the next time around. We could also get a Hellvent, which would be interesting. We will not be visiting another unit editor. Now, now is the time, so we're going this way. Okay, make him beef. The interesting thing is, I could potentially actually just make my branded warrior a uh, frontliner. We don't even need my tank. The only problem is we're not going to have any multi-hit moves. But we don't actually need them. Yeah, let's, let's just make him, uh, large. Okay, keep purging. Let's lose the restores. Okay, Woken Banner does have an Awoken Hollow. Who, I mean, is dang good. Branded Warrior has been your de facto champion for a lot of runs. Sort of. From my experience, he's kind of, he's kind of mixed bag. I like him, but I just don't use him much. Uh, or 
It's not that I don't use him much. The main issue with my Branded Warrior is I never get the scaling on him correct. Usually it just doesn't cut it. Does he cut it here? That's the question. I'm just going to pop this immediately. We get a Wildwood Sap. Pop it on her. She's probably going to die, but that's okay. She's just here to farm cards. So my branded champion becomes Beast Man. Right, let's get these guys down. Let's get all the stewards down. Rage Serum. Rage Serum. Sting. Adaptive Mutation. We do 40 damage. That's not quite enough. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna put the fire shards on him. We might... Okay, we'll be able to kill him. The other big guy's a problem, though. I don't think we're, I don't think we're gonna be able to take him out. Luckily, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so they'll they'll take the top top guy out. The other guy's gonna do a little bit of damage to me, but that that doesn't matter. So yeah, rage scaling is... It's still slow, but it's still... I mean, it's still exponential. I'll take what I can get where I can get it. And we have more than enough energy to pay for everything else. Mainly because the crux of my build is free. Uh, which is quite nice. Okay. So let's pop a bit more rage. Swap his stats. Make him goofy. And I guess we'll heal up. Not that it matters. Big man versus big man. Almost gotten wish I could make him bigger. Do we go for the sting spells doing extra damage? We have two stings. Or do I want the money? I got two stings, but they're kind of expensive. Why not? The main issue is I don't have much energy generation. I can give myself 10 extra energy and that's good. I'm gonna... I'm gonna skip. Because we're not gonna have Sting. Okay. Here's question. Do we want Cycle of Life? Or do we want Spreading Spores? We don't want Spreading Spores. Normally I would go for it. It would get us madcap spikes, maybe. Problem is, my chances of making them free are kind of low. Cycle of life, on the other hand... We don't need more ma adaptive mutation, because my adaptive mutation is free and... Oh, hmm. Okay. Problem is... Cycle of life... Gets me 10 extra HP and 3 spikes. But, boss will get rid of it. Spreading spores, on the other hand, is infinite. And we'll grab the Impish Scholar. Okay, and let's get rid of Restore. Okay, so we're gonna want to visit a magic store. Ideally multiple. Maybe. Luckily, we're going for the magic store this round. Cost less this is exactly what I'm looking for. Permafrost will not be discarded at the end of your turn. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna permafrost that. It seems a bit silly, but the main reason why I want to permafrost the important work is this way I don't discard it. Ow. That would have been helpful. Big Chompus. Probably should have gotten for a bigger steward, but like, whatever. Okay. Uh, so we got a couple of options here. We could actually do explosive on the sentient and actually go for a, a dual build where I focus on both characters. That said, this is a little late in the run. Let's just go for the more HP on the sentient. It just needs to meat wall for me. I just want to see what Big Chompus looks like. That's, that's the real answer here. <laughs> Okay. Spikes three. Well, this kind of works out. Here's the question. Do we even put my sentient down? <laughs> I'm gonna put it up there. We're gonna, we're gonna do some bad science. Some dumb science. Um. Sudden question. I might have made a mistake here. I might I might have needed. Okay. You would take one damage, three, eight. I think he'd die. Do you take 20? Because if I apply spikes and I lose him, we potentially just lose. Because he's not going to take 8 damage. He normally would take 8 damage if... Oh no, he's going to take 13 and heal 5. 28 damage from your count. I could use the big chompus as a tank, but it would it would get around the whole thing. And by the way, it's not 13574, it would be 135711. Cuz this guy also benefits from the uh the extinguish bonus. I'm going to do bad science. It should work. Okay, didn't quite work. That's what I thought.
Okay. This should work. That guy's spooky, but I don't have much of a choice. Alright, there's the adaptive mutation. That's really all I need. But this gets me the rage gen risk that I was looking for. Okay, so we can immediately adapt a mutation, get all my HP back. Pop the Rage Serum. Pop the Sting, pop the Sting. Spreading Spores. Do a bit more damage. Heal up there, I guess. Okay, so yeah, we, we desperately need a multi-hit here. That would make a lot of this a lot easier. All right. Luckily, every single time I do this, it, it boosts up my... Um... There we go. Every time I do this, it, it heals my core, which is everything I was looking for and more. All right. We don't have any other rage, but that's fine, because I've got... I mean, no matter what, it scales me up. Right, we're not even going to take too much damage. I'll heal him for reasons. Okay, we're good. So yeah, giving him spikes is nice. I'm very glad I gave him that extra HP a long time ago. Probably should have gone for the making him bigger. Uh, but I'll take what I can get. So... In graft? There's also the shard channeler, which would be good. Let's go for the engraft. It's... No matter what, useful. Okay. And let's, do we start getting rid of the stings, or do we get rid of one of the restores? We need to get both, both of them out of there. Let's get rid of the sting for the time being. Okay. So I want to go for the vortex. Clear, clear house. Because I don't think I can get rid of consume on anything. We could go for the magic shop, but I think we get another magic shop here? No. Wait, seriously? There's a unit shop there. Do we just go for madcap artifacts? That's a lot of artifacts. Let's take a look at the purge gate for a second. I guess I could start purging the train stewards. It's not a big deal. Because <sighs> next round we're going this way. And then maybe this way. Go for the dupe. So the question is, do we clear house and see what's in the trinkets? And hope for something amazing? Or do we try and boost a spell? I'm going to risk it. We've already got most of our builds going. I do not want sketches of salvation. That would be a problem. Okay. And I was kind of hoping to get double stack, but I'll just make that free. No real reason to spend the money. Permafrost is my least favorite by far. It's fine. All right, so what do we get? Yeah, this, is, this one's okay. Makes me feel a bit guilty for getting rid of my stings, but I don't really need them right now. I really don't really need them right now. Okay, so she empowers with armor. That's fine. We do need to kill all of the mooks quick, though. Same deal as last time. Question is, they're all going to die on this floor, and they're going to repeatedly die on this floor. So I'm going to put him down. He's going to he's gonna take some smacks for it. Do I put the sentient down, hope for the best, or... No, I'll probably be, be fine. I'll just put her there. Uh. 
I didn't think he was going to show up. Okay, that changes things a smidge. He'll take up out the statue at the very least. Okay. You're a spooky dude, dude though. Pop the other steward. Realize I had so many impish scholars. Okay. Let's engraft. Swap. Here's him. Spikes. Go back up here. I guess I'm going to do... Impish Scholar gets me another Pyre Shard. We're just going to extinguish. Get some more shards up. Shards up. Okay, so unfortunately we made a bit of a monster out of that tank man, but it's fine. This needed to happen anyway. Okay, get the Rage. And graft for more spreading spores. The one problem is because we have so much spreading spores, we're not actually getting as much as what I'm look of what I'm looking for. It'll have to do. All right, that's okay. Also, thank you, J Rail, 1981, for the five month resub. How you doing tonight? I am eh, I'm doing okay. Luckily, we have so many consumed spells that, like, no matter how much damage my my pyre takes. It generally doesn't matter. Okay. Pop him there. Important work. Get the extra energy. Alright. And now it's spreading spores time. The only problem is we don't actually get infinite loop or even a whole lot of damage scaling here. We're running two builds simultaneously because it's the only thing that provides us survivability. If I could have gotten hold over, oh, but we wouldn't have been able to do adaptive mutation. May my main problem is just I have so much uh, spike generation that's messing with me a bit, but that's okay. We're good. We get some more rage. Should have done it reverse. I think we're fine. Ultimately, we are fine. We actually do a fair bit of damage, so like we can we can beef fight back. And honestly, most of them are just going to kill themselves on spikes before they ever even so much as touch me. Man, this game needs spinning top. Ooh, that was a good hit. Sup, boss? Time for you to absolutely destroy yourself on infinite spikes. This is why we want double stack on spores, but honestly, considering what my build is, we are, this is just extreme discount mode, and I will take extreme discount mode. Hey, the nice part is, as long as your core is higher health than it was when it started, you don't actually lose the penalty for anybody hitting it. I love that. Now let's keep going for the draw, because apparently everything is hellaciously cheap. Do we want Spike of the Hellhorns? The answer is a hell yes. Dark Deal would be nice, but Spike of the Hellhorns means I can just goof. Let's lose the Restore at this point. Because I had 36 mana by the end of that, and I honestly didn't need any of it. So what I'm thinking is... Let's just... Let's just use and abuse that. Alright. Merchant of Trinkets has... Uh, extra stack of spikes. Apply rooted. I mean, honestly, I'll just grab all of these. We have so much money... And uh, maybe I should have saved a little bit of that. Well, let's see what the Concealed Caverns have in store for me. I'm going to get the Trap Shoot. Normally I'd skip it, but it's a consume. Costs nothing, and... I do tend to have some some dudes squeak through, and so yeah, if I could actually if I could get around that, that would work better for me. Uh Let's 
This could go poorly. I'm going to go for it, risk it for a biscuit, hope for the imp cube. Because if we get the imp cube, we are in a beautiful position. And if we don't get the imp cube, we're still in a decent position. It's just slightly less beautiful. Okay. So, we actually want to put the Branded Warrior here. We want to put my Sentient here. We want to put Pyre Chomper here. Uh, I'm actually... I'm going to do a bit of a weird thing. We're actually going to start with Spike the Hellhorn. Normally, I would skip that. But I've got plenty of energy already that I don't need to give a damn about. I've already got enough armor, so we should be okay. We're going to take some damage here, but he's going to get the all-kill bonus. And these guys are all going to die up on that floor anyway. And that gets him the rage stacking that I was looking for. We could actually blow one of the adaptive mutations. It's kind of tempting. Okay, let's clear this out a little bit and figure out... Oh, that just applies days to him. Okay. Slightly different from what I was expecting. We get the engraft, we get some wildwood sap. Helps. These guys all die, that's a good sign. Get rid of ultimate penance, which... That's a bit of a problem, actually. Okay. So we should we should have adaptive mutation. Yeah, it's the last card in my lineup, I believe. Yep, there it is. I did I did get sting. There we go. Okay. Uh let's stack a bit more rage. Don't have too much. Pop the impish scholar up here. Gets me a rage serum back. Extinguish him for a little bit more energy. Pop that. Spreading spores, spreading spores. Engraft gets me the Rage Serum again. Alright, good timing, so we switch. We have tons of energy now. Everything feels good. This actually... Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Because that guy gets by. Whatever, we'll live. Mainly, I'll just have... I have so much healing that it doesn't matter. But I'll try and do some damage to him anyway. Burn ultimate penance. Pop the Impish Scholar. Sack the Impish Scholar. Actually, I'm gonna regen him. My my little rage steward, he will live. He gets to live. At least for now. Okay. Pop the other ultimate penance. Looks like we're good. We're not going to be able to clear these guys. We can do as much damage as I, uh, as I can to them, but that's about it. And that's okay. All right. I'll just squander a couple of spreading spores onto the steward just so he stays alive. All right, and we're good. All right, there's there's some damage. Okay, pop the Rage Serum. And you know what? This is actually scaling better than I thought. I was really hoping for Multi-Strike. That's the one artifact that getting would have actually helped. Keep that going. All right. So top guy will make it to the top. Yeah, he'll make it to the top, but he insta-dies. Oh, and he makes it up. Well, let's see if I have my Sting. I do not have my Sting. Tragic. But, uh... Yeah, my core is doing fine. Yeah, how much spikes am I looking at? 80. That's not bad, especially because it does double damage. Uh, let's see, how are you doing this fine and dandy evening? I am actually doing really well. Oh, he's stuck. Hey, he dies. All right, we flawless it. And we spike the boss so hard that they can't get through my giant meat monster of a man. I'm glad I finally managed to get the, uh, this demon to actually, ooh. 
That's about as useless as possible. Because I have, like, one of those. I, I'm just going to skip it. It's it's no good. Uh, let's get an engraft, I guess. And input a box. Always input a box. Too late to actually do anything fun with the input in box, which, I mean, tragedies, but whatever. Ah, do I want to get rid of the sting? Yeah, I'll get rid of the sting at this point. Go to the steward, steward, get the kill. Go, go, steward. I believed in you. You didn't lead, let me down. So, do I want to go for artifacts? Because I could go here for dupes. No, we're fine. I, I had a panic moment where I'm like, oh, he's going to get rid of adaptive mutation. That's bad. And then it's like, wait, no, he's not. Oh, wait, hold up. Plan change. I could get a second adaptive mutation, which lets me flip stats a little bit more, which actually is really strong. <sighs> the main question is, would I be able to... What are my chances of getting the imp cube or the demons get multi-strike? from the shops. That's actually a conundrum, because multi-strike doubles the effectiveness of my dude. Shop is a gamble. Let's go this way. Let's see what the event is. If it's multi-dupe, we're in a we're in for a world of fun. Please be multi-dupe. No, it's this guy. Oh. Well, that's not what I was going for. I think we'll be fine. Okay, yeah, probably should have gone for the shop, but it's okay. Yeah, so now my, uh... That, that's actually one of the main main uh, components to getting the, the super vent, but it's okay. I think we're fine. Alright. We just gotta scale up. Now, we want to put Branded Warrior up here. Sentient here. And graft him. And graft again. Rage Serum, Rage Serum. Get a Steward. Get the other Steward. It doesn't really matter. Save the Trap Shoot, I guess. Okay, hi. These are some options. There's a lot here. So, let's get the Spikes. The one problem is we're not actually going to be able to consume imps for energy nearly as effectively here. Let's start with the imp in a box. Let's get rid of that. That actually helps a lot. Toss the steward. I don't have much for rage. So we're going to do spike the hellhorns. And we're going to adapt a mutation twice. Which more or less makes us honestly kind of monstrous right from the get-go. We have the spikes, everything else is golden. Alright. Yeah, so the the double adaptive mutation was probably the right idea, mainly just because I'm gonna scale so much faster this way. Uh if I didn't have the spikes, I'm actually not sure if the spikes uh lead me to do more or less damage. Um I'm gonna op operate under the assumption that the spikes actually are a massive power boost. Uh just because of the amount of enemies that are killing themselves on me repeatedly. Uh let's see. Let's just pop Pirate Chomper, burn important work, which is now gone, but that's okay. Which means at this point I can actually just burn my imps and see what we get back. Because I'm not going to be able to sack him again. Unless, of course, we get important work here, at which point things get kind of disappointing. Nope, we get engrafts. I'll take it. How many of these scholars do I have? And how much space? I don't have any space left. Alright, well, nothing else to it. We have such a small deck at this point, it's mostly going to be Adaptive Mutation, Rage Potion, and Spikes. So, yeah, we're actually well, well on the way to just absolutely kicking this guy's face in. 
Go for Rage. Go for Spikes. Imper Scholar gets me another Spreading Spores. A little unnecessary, but that's okay. Alright, anything else? Get out of here. Alright, that way we do 451 damage to the boss. Heck yeah. Bam! We do lose our steward. I probably should have safeguarded him a little bit, but honestly, he is not the star of the show. He doesn't even belong on the set. The star of the show is Adaptive Mutation, as usual. I really sincerely hope the the devs never fix it, because it is just my favorite thing. What? He lives? Oh, it's because there's two of the big wings jerks. Oh, it's fine. They're gonna go find out why my my pyre is spooky. Hello, can uh deck bloat called? That's it. It's a courtesy called mainly. Boop. And we're good. The sad thing is, I think the boss might actually kill itself on spikes instead of me. Which, honestly, not actually that big of a deal, but tragedy all the same, just because, like, I don't know. I was really hoping, uh, I was really hoping I could just, like, one-punch him. But this is like if One Punch Man was secretly a hedgehog. Yeah, we don't got quick. He's gonna kill himself. <laughs> 85 damage on my core. Whoo! Switch my stats around. Actually, nope, we do get to one punch him. Hell yeah! Because what's going to happen is the two mooks are going to hit me. And then. Oh, wait, no. He did actually. Dang it. I didn't realize we we're on final wave. Whatever, it's fine. We win handily. That was a good run. That was the run that I was looking for. Yesterday was just cursed. That's really all I have to say about it.